my name is Tony. I work here at our LEX location on our sales floor. I'd like to show you some of Mayash's certified awesome blossoms for the month of August. First thing that we have up are some beautiful hydrangea. These yellow greenish ones are our PG hydrangea as well as a local pink. Uh, very beautiful. As you can see, this one has a little bit of a cone shape, so add lots of texture and, and fun to your arrangements. Uh, throughout the season, they do tend to antique, so remember that when uh, you're ordering later in the summer. The next thing I want to show you here is our beautiful blooming fig branches. These are always fun, just alone in a vase, or uh, you could take the figs off and, and do lots of fun, creative things with them. Our peach capanella rose. You can see how beautiful and full of petals this rose is. It's good for wedding work or for your sweetheart. Really good for just about anything. And we'll go down here to our blushing bride protea. And I actually have a little bit of an interesting story about this when I was reading up on it. It was actually extinct for over a hundred years and until there was a fire in South Africa in the 60s, um, the, when, when the fire happened, the seeds started germinating again. So thanks to that fire, we now have Blushing Bride Protea again. Uh, sitting here with the Blushing Bride Protea is a gorgeous crocodile fern. And you can see up close that it has a very, very beautiful texture. It's almost like snake skin. Lots of fun uh, to um, use anywhere. Up here, we have our gorgeous fuchsia coxcomb sitting here next to Kiss Me Over the Garden Gate. Now, I'll first tell you a little bit about the coxcomb. It has very long stems, very sturdy long stems, so you're able to to use it in a lot of ways, short or tall. And uh, one thing I did want to show you on here is here has its seeds. A lot of people think that that may be it going bad or a little mold, but it's actually not. It's just trying to seed. So if you see that, just embrace it and make it part of your design. The Kiss Me Over the Garden Gate is available for a limited time. Uh, very beautiful though. Could, I could see using this in um, a garden bouquet or even in, in wedding work to, to drape down. Absolutely gorgeous. Here we have a succulent box. Uh, this is one that we specifically put together for this showcase to show you the beautiful array, uh, array of succulents that we do offer. Um, if you're interested in a particular a particular variety, uh, please contact an associate and we can help you uh, identify it and put together uh, an arrangement for you as well. Our viburnum berry, also a really uh, fun thing to work with. Uh, a lot of people don't know that these uh, berries actually float so you can use them uh, in any way that you may use a cranberry. Uh, again, very tall stem so you can use it in, in an arrangement that you need some height or you can cut it low, put it in with, with some shorter flowers, some fruits, something really summery, lots of fun. Our Pyrrhus is in bloom. Look how beautiful that looks. This is beautiful for wedding work. Actually, most of the time I, I see it when I really love it. It's always in, in bridal bouquets or some sort of wedding work. So keep this in mind, very beautiful. Eucomus, or also known as pineapple lily, has a very nice thick stem, lots of height, adds lots of drama to any arrangement. So you can see these little flowers are like are very star-like, they're almost dewy and have a little bit of purple and yellow in there and they're going to last you a really long time. The vase life on these flowers is phenomenal. Move on down to our Cretanthus. Uh, this comes in a, a few different colors, uh, but here we have this beautiful orange. As you can see in a bunch, you get a whole lot of blooms, and you can use this, again, and anywhere you want to have a little fun. Um, you get a few blooms per stem, so keep that in mind. Macara orchid, this is our beautiful orange. Again, also on these stems, you get a lot of blooms. So in a, in a pack you get five, it comes five, 
stems to a, a package, to a bunch, but look at how many blooms you get. Lots of fun stuff. You could take those off and wire them separately, or you could use them just how we'd, we've done here in a simple vase. Either way, they're going to look gorgeous. Another hydrangea that we have here is the You and Me variety. Uh, it doesn't just come in this, this pink and green. There's a, a whole lot of different varieties. And you can see on this one, uh, some beautiful little blooms have sprouted up on there. Um, these blooms are also quite large. So you could uh, cut them down and use them in pieces, or you could use them large for a dramatic effect. Some more, since it is summer, we uh, have more blooming branches. This time, I'm going to show you raspberry. And how fun is raspberry? Nothing says summer like berries and fruits. No, you don't put this in your uh, lemonade, but you do put this in your arrangements. You can, um, I've said before with some of this other stuff that you could use in a wedding work, but how cute would that be in a boutonniere or a corsage or just um, a little different if you didn't want to use it for a wedding, maybe for your rehearsal dinner. Fun. Showed you the uh, crocodile uh, fern, but now I have another beautiful green to show you, uh, Calathea. And um, this you can use in a whole bunch of different ways. You can see on the, uh, the other side, you get a very, very nice design as well as the front. So you can fold them either way and get a different look. You can wrap them in clear vases. The possibilities are endless. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you before I get to our last box here is speckled throughout this display, we have air plants. Um, and I've showed you a few different ways that you can put them right in your arrangement, just stick them right in, and it just adds a little bit of flair. Now, um, they do come at different price points. Uh, some of our uh, more unique ones do have a different price point than some of the smaller ones, but if you are interested, um, please talk to your sales rep and we'll be happy to get, get you some more information on that. The last thing I do want to share with you is our beautiful box of Chilean greens. We get these, these mixed boxes that have all sorts of different varieties of, of fun stuff to use. I'm going to just show you, take a few out and sh show them to you. I've seen these used in garlands. I've seen stuff like this used instead of um, leather fern or lemon leaf to give your arrangements a little bit more of an exotic look. So you could see something, whoops, something like that would look beautiful, beautiful in any sort of arrangement, tropical or, or just something a little more basic. Also in this box come several packs of lipo lycopodium as well as this beautiful little green. And I don't know if you can see on here just how many little stems you get in this little bunch. I'm going to pull one out for you. And you can see this is just full of that. So imagine the possibilities with one little bunch of these, what you can do. Now, each of these greens are available uh, separately, but why not get the whole box? It's uh, affordable. You'll have lots of fun with it. And I, your creativity will just go wild with this box. Thank you so much for joining us for our August product showcase. Little guys like this are just waiting for your call and looking for a new home.